Hi everyone, my name is uh, Didier Lopsch, I'm uh, uh, the CEO of OpenVB and today I'm gonna talk about the OpenVB terminal, in specific uh, the concept of routines, uh, which allow you to really be really fast at doing investment research and automate uh, a lot of your investment research, which is something that, as far as I know, doesn't, doesn't really exist. And that's a bit like how I started uh, the OpenBB terminal. Uh, that's one of the reasons that, you know, uh, as an engineer, like I always felt that like the tools out there didn't really allow you to automate investment research. And so, um, yeah, this is where we are today. I'm going to use the, the Python uh, uh, version. Uh, you can also like access the, the installer on our uh, website, openbb.co. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, so let's get started. So here I'm just uh, uh, calling the, the terminal. This is what the terminal looks like. I'm just going to give you a brief introduction in case this is your first time. Here you have the, the version that we have, our website that you can access. I'm on the, the latest stable version. Uh, bear in mind that this is actually a more advanced version that is not yet announced, but will be announced uh, for uh, the end of March. Um, when you see a, a, a line to be like this color and with, with this uh, symbol at the beginning, it means that this is a menu, which means that when you go into that menu, you'll have access to more commands. So in this case, I go here and these are commands. This is a parameter, which means that uh, based on the commands above, uh, this will uh, appear something in front. Uh, these are commands and these are the data sources associated with the commands. And these are more uh, menus that you can dive in. So let's, for instance, say that I want to load the Apple price. You can do interrogation mark and you'll see that we loaded Apple daily and the start is from 2020 because we didn't add it like a start date but we could off so you could we can do load dash h and you can understand all the parameters that you can add in this case this is good enough for for what i want to show you uh and i want to show you the candle chart of apple and this is one of the reasons why this version is not out yet so this is uh, going to be a more interactive version uh, that uh, anyone will be able to uh, use another cool thing that you may do is you you can export data so you can export it on the csv format or even give it like a file a file name and you'll see that this file is safe so then you can open it on your excel spreadsheet or you can uh, uh, load it for any other program that you may wish okay but now let's start to get into the concepts of routines. So this is all cool and fun and, and you, you know, you can do a lot of stuff, but like we really wanted to be able to allow you to be fast doing investment research, right? So one of the first things we thought is like, okay, it would be cool if the user could create like pipelines of commands so that they could have access to things like much faster. So let's say that I go into the technical analysis menu and I have, I have access to all of these uh, technical analysis. So I can do e EMA and then I can select length of 30. Um, then I want to uh, check the Fibonacci sequence. Um, I can, we can do Bolling, Bollinger Bands as well. Okay, this takes a bit of time, right? And if you know that you're gonna do always the same for the same ticker, like there must be a better way for you to always have to, to, do, to write the same commands, which, was a bit my struggle when I started doing investment research was like, I need to do the same process for all of the tickers I see, which is like, you know, comprises of having multiple uh, dashboards open and always looking for the same date. And then the only difference was my insights after that. And like, there must be a better way for you to do that. And so, so that's what OpenV Terminal is today, which is this like infrastructure, like middle layer between like a world of data sources from like, you know, ETFs, macroeconomy, like a uh, fixed income, um, crypto options, like anything. And, and then like the users and, and the, the platform is, is basically like open source, which allows like users to add more data sources and one more comments. And at the same time, the, the users, the data sources uh, uh, stand to win because they get access to all of these new flow of users using them. And so what we thought is like, okay, let's create, allow users to create a pipeline. So instead of having to do what I just did, I could just create TA, then a dash, which basically creates like a pipeline. And then I can say, okay, I want EMA with length of 30. I want to the Fibonacci sequence and I want the polygon bands. And so I run this and this will uh, uh, output like three shards uh, immediately. So once this is done, I can come back and, and look into uh, how th this looks, right? And then I can, I can export data, I can uh, uh, visualize it, I can, uh, um, there's gonna be an option for, for it to even be able to share on a link with, with the uh, uh, colleagues, which I think is gonna be pretty neat. Um, okay, 
so this concept is out of the way so what does this has uh, to do with routines so as much as this is nice like creating a big like pipeline of commands is not the best user experience so imagine having to share uh, with your friend something that looks like this uh, stocks uh, love apple um, Let's go fundamental analysis and let's check a price target of Apple. So let's say you have to share this. This is not the best way to, uh, you know, do things like faster. There must be a better way. So we created the concept of routines. Okay, what is a routine? A routine is basically a file, which is a really a text file, but we call them .openbb. And it basically rec recognizes the commands in it and he, he puts them on this format that I just shared uh, with you, uh, but you don't really see that. So you can create like a much better routine. So let me show you an example. So if I do this, I go back to home and let me run a routine. Let's run this one, example.openbb, okay? And now you, you run something and something happened and you're like, okay, the exponential moving, uh, 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 moving average of Microsoft popped up, but how, okay? And so we're gonna open this routine. And you can see that what it does is as the stocks command, it does load Microsoft command, you go into technical analysis command, and then it goes into exponential moving average. And that is nice. But we wanted to do more. We wanted to be able to share this with someone and share the reason for why you're doing what you're doing. So we allow the creation of things like, you can uh, say a dive into stocks, or you can say load Microsoft, uh, I want, to look into Microsoft uh, and you know you can write interested in EMA but let's say that you are uh, interested in also having access to the Fibonacci sequence as we just shared before uh, so uh, also interested in Fib so I can just write Fib and uh, you'll be able to see that now the Fibonacci sequence will run uh, as well so uh, I, save that, I save that file and then I run it and you can see exponential moving average uh, runs and also the Fibonacci uh, uh, sequence runs and there's a print in the terminal, which is pretty neat. The next step for us was, uh, uh, okay, this is cool, but like if I need to load a different ticker, I would have to go onto the, this OpenBB file. So basically based on Perl uh, into uh, X, so based on Perl, we basically took the idea of creating this concept of like the dash argv and then select that is this the first element. And that means that when I run this script, so let's do, you can run it also like this example of OpenBB, I can select dash I as an input and I can say that my input now instead of being Microsoft as before, I want it to be Apple. So you'll see that the Apple gets taken off the, the common line inter, inter, interpreter and it gets put onto the, the script. And so everything that happens now is in correspondence with Apple. Okay, so that, that that's something that uh, an extra that we did uh, and I'm actually quite proud of that. <laughs> um, but then the next step for us was like, um, okay, this is cool, but like I can probably uh, write a routine pretty fast because I know uh, uh, in my head like what commands we have, uh, how they work. What about someone that is testing the, the platform and doesn't really want to, you know, uh, have to write something and then copy paste it onto a routine. So we created this concept of like record. And what record does is it starts logging in the, the commands that you are using on the terminal. So let's say I go into crypto and let's say I load Bitcoin. I look into the candle of Bitcoin and uh, let's say that I'm interested on not just the candle but also the uh, Bitcoin chart and I know that is on uh, overview and I know that it's called Bitcoin rainbow and that should display as the Bitcoin rainbow and then let's say that uh, I want to go back to the main menu here we are so now I say stop Okay, and what happened here is that it created this uh, uh, new routine. And as you can see, this routine is just basically calling the same commands that we did during the time. And then we can come in and, our, and then add our own notes to it. So we can, uh, you know, uh, say, you know, loaded, uh, loaded Bitcoin uh, because yes, <laughs> something like that. And so right now you actually need to exit um, the platform in order for it to recognize that uh, that routine exists just because uh, once it boots up it looks into the OpenBB user data folder and looks for that routines and because this one was just recorded and, and saved right now it won't be there 
uh, until until you uh, like run the terminal again. So now uh, this is the one I want. Uh, uh, it finishes in 727 and you'll see that it will execute the same routine that we just did okay and uh, uh, where's the rainbow should be appearing here and here we are all right this is cool uh, and uh, yeah so this is already pretty neat and so one thing that I wanted to share with you as well is that I, I bought a mechanical keyboard recently which is the one that you can see here and one of the reasons I also bought it is because I can I could customize the hot keys uh, uh, as I wanted, and uh, so I this is the Keychron Q2 by the way, and I was interested on in creating my own ma macros to basically uh, allow me to be faster uh, doing like uh, investment research. So if I um, I don't know where is this program here we are. So basically the uh, you have like several layers on the terminal so this is like the normal ones and then you have layer uh, uh, 2, layer 3, layer 4 and basically you are able to um, to click on uh, uh, one of these and select like um, create what you wanted to do as a macro. So in my case I was interested on uh, let's say uh, associating macros to odd keys. So let's say I click this one and I want to associate this, which is my Z with the macro zero, but it needs to be the layer three, which means that I need to click on F1 when I do so. And let's say I want to use this as macro one. So now uh, that this is uh, done, I can go into macros and macro zero has nothing. But let's say that I want it to have something. And I could load the ticker here, but I'm not going to do that. And the reason is because I want to be able to load the ticker on the terminal and then just be able to execute something after that, that step. So let's go into the terminal and let's say that I go into stocks. And I want to load um, Apple, as usual. Um, and now let's look into the menu. So after this point, now is when I'm interested on creating a odd key. And the reason I'm interested now is because then I can load another ticker and, and keep the sequence of events of actions that I'm interested. And so... For instance, I know that if I go into uh, dark pool short data, there's going to be a command called price for short to interest. And then I can go down uh, back. I can go into the fundamental analysis and I can uh, check the price target of Apple, but also the, the income sheet, for instance. And uh, uh, let's say that I want them to come back to this menu because there's something else that I, I may want to do. I can actually do it like this. So I can run this. Uh, this should... Uh, uh, since this is a pipeline of commands, it should be all automated. And as you can see, here are the outputs. And then you should have here the uh, income uh, statement. So I will copy these right now, which is what I'm interested on having on, as a macro. And I'll put it here. And I'll uh, do the following, which is pressing enter as well, uh, which I think I can do uh, like this. KC enter uh, this one here. I think it's like that. All right, and now here we are. So now let's say, I don't want to run this again. I want to run it now on Tesla instead of Apple. So I can do, ah, no, this is not Tesla. Um, and so I think if I do this, here we are. Now we are running the same command that I did before, and uh, but instead of uh, uh, being for Apple, it's for Tesla. And here, for instance, you can see a bug, which is that these price targets are not taking into account the split that happened in Tesla around this timeline here. Um, which is alright as, as long as you know about it, uh, but uh, yeah. So this is pretty cool, right? Uh, because now I could I could load uh, Netflix and I could do the same thing and then I basically just come here and here we are running it again with the price targets for Netflix. I get the uh, price versus uh, um, short volume uh, interest for Netflix and I get the income statement, which could use a bit of colors and you you are able to do that through the open source uh it's just something that we haven't prioritized um this is pretty nice right uh one more thing though which is okay we can keep on adding here right and this can become like really big but like again as as earlier i was mentioning like this is one of the things that we didn't like which is like having to share this big like you know li line which can become huge and the idea is that you know you can run something you can go grab a coffee and you come back and you have like a lot of like uh, shards to to have a look at and uh, one of the things we are really bullish about is the already reports functionality which will allow you not just to run these data data points but actually to put them in a reports format where where, where you can just scroll and and have access to it and then add your own notes on top of it and really stream line the whole workflow of like an analyst for instance 
But anyway, so going back to the same issue that we had before, it's like, okay, what if we went one step further and instead of uh, being running uh, uh, the list of commands, we did the same as before, which is like, we just run the, the routine. And so, uh, let me go back to, to home. So, and that's what we allow to do. So basically I can come here and I can say, okay, this macro one, which is uh, on this uh, key, which in my case is gonna be the X key when I press on my FN, this macro here is gonna be execute and uh, uh, let's use the example.openbb, which is the one I shared before. Actually, this one uh, is looking into uh, a ticker. So I'm gonna use this one. So if I go into uh, rename, where should it be the rename? Uh, oof, I cannot find the rename. I can probably copy the path. Not sure if that's gonna work, but uh, it works. So basically I can say, okay, I want to execute this whenever I press on that macro and let me add the enter here because uh, I don't need to press enter on it. I just want the macro key to uh, run the routine and then press enter. So basically then I could be here and I could do this and here we are going back onto the routine. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to share of what you can do. I mean, I just, <laughs> yeah, the comments that I share is literally the tip of the iceberg. There's so much data that you have access through our platform. And uh, bear in mind, this is not our data. This is data from like over 90, 90, 90 uh, different like data sources uh, to a, a lot of different asset classes, ETFs, economy, Forex, futures, whatever. And like the code is open source, which means that our goal is that uh, contributors can add any data source that they are interested in, in terms of any asset class. And we just really want to focus on providing an amazing like a, a infrastructure like platform that you can not only use to have access to data but really like uh, streamline your investment research and also even build your own products on top of it and that's why we released the, the SDK uh, a few a few months ago and um, yeah that's the core of like what the OpenVB terminal is but then we also have like these uh, toolkits which allow you to you know do some portfolio optimization uh, check uh, your portfolio performance uh, doing some uh, time series forecasting with Nixla and Darts or checking uh, uh, econometrics which is something that is uh, um, usually done on uh, financial courses in the university and uh, um, yeah that's about it uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to leverage routines in the terminal and even how to use your own like you know keyboard to to do so and uh, yeah see you next time